What are the differences between a bandeja and a víbora? When should you do one and the other? What are the tricks to never miss? Learn the best tips in less than 10 minutes with Mauri Andrini. The concept of the shot. That is the first thing. Okay, is the bandeja a winner? Not. Is the víbora a winner? Yes. If you play a víbora, you're gonna move your wrist. Yes, second, second thing. That's why it's a winner. Because if you move your wrist, what do you generate? Power or control? Power. Power. You the more power, control. less control. Bandeja, more control, okay. More control, less power. That's what you need. If you play a bandeja, that the ball bounces and rebounds, and, and, and the opponent will hit the ball in front of the line, that bandeja is not correct. So if you're gonna play harder the bandeja, make sure that your bandeja is to the side fence or to the side wall in order that the ball stays behind the line before the player hits the ball, in order that that player doesn't reach any position. Because we got to understand, if you go for a vibora, it's because you go for a winner. If you go for a winner, it's because that love allows you to go for a winner. If you're gonna play a bandeja, it's because you respect your opponent's love, because the love has been very good, and so you're gonna play a bandeja. One tip which is crucial is understanding that the contact with the ball of the vibora, you need to go backwards. This is the main mistake that people usually do, you know, they're waiting, 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 the ball is coming, and they start running, you know, in front of the, of the ball, yeah? In side steps, st straight away, side steps, and then you prepare for a bandeja or for a vibora. But you forget about the base. If you want to hit the bandeja, the contact with the ball, you will try to hit in front of the body, yeah? Or if you hit behind, well, the direction of the ball is gonna change. Just make sure, yeah, that you try to hit the ball in front. To hit the ball in front, you need to go back quick. Bandeja, yes? Contact with the ball in front and flat. You contact the ball below, the preparation of the racket. The ball is coming here, I will contact here, racket here. I will contact here, racket here. Has to be slightly up. Vibra, doesn't matter. You will hit the ball always around your head height, slightly higher. Why you cannot play Vibra there? Because you will generate so much spin and this angle with a powerful shot that will generate this. You don't want that. Yeah. Said that, I would like to fit some shots to you in order to see if you are deciding properly which shot and if technically it's correct. Let's start. I will play one bandeja and one vibra. Just start, just to, to have a look how you play one bandeja. Go back. Nice, I like it. Yes, I, I like it. I'm, I'm vibra. Okay, one find the five differences between one and the other one. <laughs> I mean, they were quite the same. Man, bandeja, we said bandeja, flatter, high to low, vibra, side spin. Show me again, a vibra. Nice, okay. Have a look on, the, on your preparation. Yeah? You're preparing there. So when you prepare here, even, yeah, then when you want, there is no time. So prepare a little bit more behind, the, from there. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Go. It's the first shot that you play with just only that technique. It's a progression, it's not a technique. You don't have to do, okay, vibra, and you do this, no. Then, for example, if you play another shot and you play 100 vibras, which are correct, then you can wait and do if you want. Wait, 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 go. Nice, the preparation has to be very quick and step back. Go backwards, go backwards, go. Nice. Still a little bit flat, like, could you feel in the vibra, the side spin, it doesn't matter how hard you hit the ball because the ball generates more side spin, no more power. Racket behind your neck. There, yeah, there we go. Wait, go. Beautiful, yes? Even the sound of the racket has to be different. If the sound of the racket is hook, it's because it's too flat. Yeah. If it's flat, I don't want that. But, go. Have a look. I will tell you why your shot was in. You know, at some point you might be thinking like, <laughs> did you see, man? No, I play the lob further away from you. Have a look on the repetition if you want. Yes, I play the lob further away from you. And I told you to go backwards, ready. So you didn't have to think about going backwards and sideways and, work, and yeah. be, being away from the ball. So the ball is coming towards you, move away. Now I will play the lob a little bit closer to your body. So you got two options, either to play a bandeja or to move quick and play the vibra. Ba, move away. Nice, you love it. You tell me I love Marian Andrini <laughs> because he is teaching me the vibra shot quick. Vamos. I will play a volley straight after. Imagine I will block your shot. Ba, vibra, go. Be ready. Late. 
Vamos again. Go, vibra. Ready. Now we're talking. The vibra needs time or the vibra needs no time? What do you think? Needs time. Needs a little bit time. Yeah. So this is a very important tip for those who are willing to see which is, is I should say, vibra. If you're playing against someone who plays vibra, vibra quick, uh, winners, winners, winner, you know how the love should be? They play this, the love, this. Quick love, because you will not have the time enough to prepare this and this. It's like you play against Paquito, for example. Are you gonna play quick loves or high loves? Man, you play high loves to Paquito, be ready. So let's go for a bandejas now, huh? So prepare quick and go back. Back, back, back. Okay, you're still impacting the ball slightly behind. Go back, back, back. Now a little bit better. It's good. You are playing a placement bandeja, yeah? Placement. It's two placement. From the same preparation, you can do the shot you're playing now or a little bit harder. If you feel slightly confident or comfortable with your position of your feet and everything, I want to hit the ball a little bit harder. Go back, 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 push. Okay. Don't forget to hit the ball in front of you. Go back. Vibra. Don't, yes. Don't prepare the racket that, that much back. Show me the racket. I want to see through the holes now. There, go back, go back, go back. You need to go back quicker, man. You told me you're lazy, I could tell you're lazy. Go back, quick. Go, 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 go. I like it. Did you feel the difference? It was better, man. That shot, it pushes me back if I'm defending. I got to struggle for the next coming shot. Pablo, which shot I will do now? Bajada. Lover, lobo bajada, bajada, bajada. So be ready for volleys, so be ready for volleys. Nice, enough, block the shot. But which shot are we do now? No. So start getting ready. Yeah. Because otherwise, your bandeja is like this because you're not ready. Ready? So love is coming because I'm low. You go back. Time. You need time. So Mauri, why don't we like do a shot selection between both? Fantastic. I, mean I will help you first with the first four or five shots and then I don't tell you anything. Ba, bandeja. Nice, vibra. I'm giving you so much information. Vibra, prepare the racket slightly more behind. Quick preparation. Maybe you're taking two hours to do back. You need quicker. Prepare. Quick, 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 go. Now we're talking, Mr. Pablo. The fourth set, different level. Back. Quick. Why, when you are not lazy, all the shots are amazing? Yes? Why? Exactly. It's, it's not, it's not the upper legs. body, actually. It's the, it's, the, it's the lower body position. Ready? Ba. This is for a vibra. Ba. Nice. Ooh. I like it. I prefer that mistake. Go again. Ba. Beautiful. Bandeja. Move your feet. Vamos. Vibra. Go for it. Nice. Bandeja. Go for it. Well done. Nice. Prepare. 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 Lay preparation. Quick. Quick. Prepare. Yes. Quick preparation. Ah. Quick preparation again. Give me the last two. This is a vibra. Vibra. If you win, you win. <laughs> I want to summarize the five main difference between the bandeja and the vibra. Contact with the ball. One is slightly more in front and the other one, the vibra behind in order to hit side spin. Second. The effect. Side spin. The effect. One is side spin, the other one is flat. Uh, the one you said, one is a winner, the other one is not a winner. Yes? Uh, third, the, the vibra, we move the wrist because, not because we want, it's because the preparation. The height is another difference. Exactly. The bandeja could be higher than the vibra. The highest you can because you are avoiding. You told me something perfect. With the, if I will play a bandeja, means that the lob was bad or was good? was good love, so that's why we play a bandeja, because otherwise I will play a vibra or a winner. Mauri, you know where can people join a club or an academy to become a different level players? <laughs> Hello Padel Academy, that's the one. Thank you very much. Thank you Mauri. Thank you.